This morning, we are getting ready for this weekend's UP Fall Beer Fest. It's happening on Saturday at Lower Harbor in Marquette. We have TV6's Michael Sobek joining us live from the Ordock Brewing Company. Michael, what do we need to know to make this year the best beer fest ever? Well, aside from, of course, them having a large lineup of beer, some that are returning for the season and some that are going to be named right there over the weekend, there's also a lot of fun events that people can expect this weekend, and they're going to be free. Andy's here to tell me a little bit about that. So live music, we talked a little bit about that in the last segment. Mm -hmm. What else is going on? Yeah, so we have a couple bands that will be playing on Friday night, but if you are going to the festival on Saturday and you want to enjoy a little bit more music after, because there's usually some music at the festival as well, um, we have Jakey Thomas playing hopefully on the patio. We're crossing our fingers for no rain this weekend, so um, I don't know if maybe you guys can help though with the weather forecast a little bit just to make sure it's dry for us on Saturday. Um, he'll be playing from 5 to 8 outside, so we're excited about that. And I know, actually, if people are still looking for tickets to the event, I know that they can actually still get those online at Michigan, so mibeer.com. And there's a lot of information about the festival there, too. So hopefully we'll get a good crowd out and yeah. be able to celebrate some Michigan beer. Absolutely. Now, of course, you have, we, we, we touched on a few of the beers. Are any of those beers that people are going to get to taste and try at the festival going to be canned that they can come pick up and take home? Yeah, absolutely. So actually, both the Six Pointer and the Mango Maserati that are our seasonal release that Blaine was talking about are being canned today. In All fact, right. after this segment, I'll head home so that my husband can come <laughs> down and, and help the crew get everything canned and, and on trucks today. So um, they can be picked up here at the brewery and hopefully we'll have them on store shelves for the weekend as well. Yes, yeah. I'm excited. I really am super hyped about that Ma mango Maserati. I think that I one's going to be one of my favorite. It's my favorite sour, so yes. that's, that's my favorite. Well, aside from that sour, what are some other beers that are your favorite that other people might also enjoy? Oh, gosh. I mean... I'll be honest, I love all the beer that we're bringing down, but one of my favorite things about Beer Fest is the fact we get all these downstate breweries coming over the bridge and bringing some of their new releases and special releases. So I haven't looked at the beer <laughs> list yet, but I, it is extensive and it is online as well. And I'll definitely be picking out my favorites to kind of go around and try from some of those breweries that we don't get to see very much yeah. up here in the UP. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me yeah. this, this morning. I'm super excited. I'll definitely see you guys this weekend. Looking I'll probably pop in it. for some live music. Music. I'll make sure to link all of their information, not only for Ordoc and what there is, what's going on this weekend for them, but also what's happening at Beer Fest this weekend. That'll be on our website at UpperMachineSource.com. It's back to you, ladies. All right. Always a good time. Thank you so much, Michael. Your top stories are on the way. We'll be right back.